get him on Tron. Take the aggro. I magic missile his ass. Oh, he's not dead yet. <laughs> Throw another one at him. Thank God. <laughs> he's really dangerous. If you could not tell. He has a really good longsword yet from killing him, but uh. Oh, actually, I could uh. I'd give it to Montaron and get him proficiency in longsword. That would be a good idea. I think his fine traps, I'm gonna get it up to like 50 and then I'll put it in the rest of the open locks. Yeah, we'll go the 15 route and 10 for now. And our boy Dorn leveled up. I could give it to Dorn, though his two-handed sword is really good, to be honest. Uh, what else do I want to give him then? Maybe longbow, just so he can fight from range if need be. That's two, <laughs> he has two HP left. Soon, my work will be done. Look, man. And now you do the evil thing of taking, of ruining his art. And, now, no trouble at and all. taking the emeralds. You could turn these emeralds in to get a very paltry worth of experience, but uh, it's not worth it. Just keep the emeralds. They're worth a lot of money. Oh, actually, maybe I should uh, rest a bit. Oh, that's fine. There's no way. If Kagan gets instantly killed by a fucking kobold, he deserves it. I don't think a kobold can do enough damage to kill someone with that much HP. But I think it's time to go back to Bear Ghost and get rid of these pancake shells I've got rid of earlier. Before I go to the mine. We don't really need to worry too much about Kagan being low on HP. He'll generally fully heal when you go to a different area. Or when you rest. I believe he heals like 1 HP per minute and it takes you like 16 hours to get here. So you may have full HP when you get here. No trouble at all. We still need to rest though because it's, the shop's not open at night. Consider it done. Mid-timber. This guy has to tell us what the cloak would. Got some cheap beer for you. There's a paladin right here at Bajoran we can do a quest for as well. Yes. I think they're near High Hedge or something like that. Cash. Just around somewhere. I don't have a reason to go to High Hedge anymore though, because I have no wizards. They're just all fucking dead. Which is really a tragedy. Come on, guys. We can go through a fucking door, can't we? Consider it done. All right, Mister. I can make whatever you What's your pickle? A wee little bit more than me competition. I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than me competition. Yeah, I think I'll just sell it, to be honest. I'll just, I'll just take the money. I'll take the cash.
I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than me competition. So we give him an ankh shell, and he's gonna make us a suit of ankh armor. You uh, he can only make you one. Little bit more than me competition. I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than me competition. I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than me competition. I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than me competition. Anything else you want to sell? Anything you want to buy from him? Yeah, that wand's pretty useless too. Let's see, any useful gear? We could buy Dorn a longbow so I can make use of that first thing, which I probably will do. I don't think there's anything I need to buy from him at this point. We already have a... We have one plus one shield. I think a plus one medium shield will probably be a good idea. Yeah, because we can't afford it. Because I really want this shadow armor plus three. It's really good for the build I'm going for. Yeah, I think I'll get the uh, medium shield plus one. Uh, the only benefit to the large shield is you get plus one versus missile attacks. This is plus two, and this gives you no protection against missile attacks. I don't really care about the plus one to that, so I'm just going to get the medium shield. Or maybe I should care, to be honest. The gang gets fucking peppered by arrows. I don't have the money for it. Fuck it, let's splurge a little bit. Let's live a little. Let's live a little. There we go. Thir negative three. One. I'm going to give this to uh, Dorn, actually. Just so his AC is more in line than everyone else's. Because right now mine's the lowest. But I can fight in range if need be. I don't need to be in melee. I'm going to wear these for now. They don't do anything. Oh, I didn't even I buy him a bow. Oops. Whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than I'm not too sure how much use of out of a bow he will actually get, but you know, a little bit. You know, a composite long bow. There might be a foe or two here and there he went low out range instead of fighting a melee. You know, a stack of arrows. Actually I want his sword to be over here. Yeah, if the bow actually is a... Uh, Thacko is pretty decent. 16, he has 13 to the sword, though. It's a lot better. And now what? No oh, you can do some pretty killer damage with that bow, though, if need be. A simple task. And we just want to, like, uh, we could kill two days. I guess I do have one reason to go to High Hedge. I think you can get a potion bag from there. Uh, I'm going to go check. I'm going to find out. Uh, no, I want to go out the other end to get the high hedge. Consider it done. Let's go to High Hedge real quick. There are also a lot of skeletons up here. There is a necromancer somewhere around here, but I really don't want to fight him. I might. I'll think about it. But there is something I would like from these skeletons. This will be useful for a quest later that we will probably do by accident. We can find Melocamp the chicken.
Though the result of that quest is completely based in RNG. Level up. We wanted to specialize in the axes fully. Hello, pal. This guy gives you the idea of robbing this place. I've never actually done that. I imagine it's incredibly difficult. I'm not even too sure you get from robbing this place, to be honest. What must I do? You don't want to go too far north or south, or you'll aggro some flesh golems and they'll kill you. Be Palantir, a mighty Why do I live in such a pissant town? Unfortunately, we have lied to him. We're just seeing if he has a bag. Oh, I saw it. It's just right up over here by these bolts. Let's go from the top again. Yeah, potion case. And yeah, this is where you go to buy cool wizard shit. But. Not today. Ah, uh, we might as well buy these while we're here too. So we can stuff all these useful but situational potions in here. I only want one potion. I'll just put the potions like this for now. And they should be fine. All right, let's get out of here. Consider it done. Oops, I'll tab for a second to send a message and get attacked by a million skeletons. I'm missing someone as well. Oh, there is in the woods ranging, I get you. Well, let's go. I am going to go down one south. I do think Bella Camp is just over here. Yeah, might as well do that quest real quick. Won't take me too long. No trouble at all. Only magical weapons can harm him. Now what? Pretty sure. Maybe it's a different kind of wolf I'm thinking of. But dread wolves are, are worth a lot of experience, so that's good. There are a lot of variety of wolf and doggo that you unfortunately have to slay. But it is what it is. He is Melkam. Yeah, please get him real quick over here. I think the half ogres might be here. Don't know, don't remember, don't care too much. I'll find them later if I want to. Or not. I'll probably encounter them just going somewhere else at some point. Around Bear Ghost and not to fight them that way. The quest isn't too important. You do get a magic shield out of it, but other than that, nothing too crazy. I am going to save Scum this quest because there is a, only for one of the potential outcomes, there is a luck-based outcome where Thalantir dies as well. I, if Thalantir dies, I will save Scum, but I won't. I'm not allowed to sleep. 
Our next assailants may just live. And now what? I just don't want uh uh him to die. It's okay if Melcamp dies though. Why do I live in such a pissant town? Why do I live in such a pissant town? Oh, look at that, I got the good end. Look at that, we saved Melocamp the chicken. What the hell do you think you was doing? Look man, they still don't like us, okay? Don't, don't be so upset. But we have level 2 cleric spells now, which is good. That means we can go over this tab and get what we can get. Spirit Clamor is pretty good if you just want to beat people up. So is Flame Blade. Uh, I think Spirit Clamor is better because it gives you a bonus to hit as well. I do like getting silence. I do want draw up on only might. Because that will give us stat points. Uh, I think getting the draw up on only might benefits do help you. But I can't remember if it helps you for uh, for con. Probably not. But the strength and dex are good. Uh, hold poor person seems like a good spell. But it really isn't. I'll get slow poison for now. It's just useful. And I'm the only cleric on the team, so I should have all the support spells, probably. Uh, anyone else level up doesn't look like I guess I'll double check. Nope. Monteron is close to his next, uh, fight level, it looks like, yeah. What must I consider it done? Well, this is good. The goody goodies make me sick! A simple task. Look, Monteron, we're we're just doing what we do, man. We're not good guys by any means. We're just making sure people don't murder us on sight, is all. This will not be a quick death. What I think I will do is I'm going to finish Nashkel Mine and get our new wizard friend for this stream and I think kill Nimble when he spawns in Nashkel. And I think that's when I will call this stream probably. We've been going for a bit and it'll take a bit to uh, clear the mine. But we can just go right to the mine now. Consider it done. With our party of four. <laughs> it should be fine though. The mine is pretty easy. 
most of the threats you can face in the mine are pretty pathetic. Uh, yeah, you can still find traps and play them out. I'm pretty sure he could, but I just want to double check. I don't think he can, he can disarm traps in plate mail. I think he has to take his armor off to do that, but that's fine. You don't really disarm too many traps in combat in this game. I would really recommend it either. So you want to take a look at me, Mike? I'll whip my staff out for this. These kobolds are just chaff. I'm not really worried about them. Stand away, citizen. But we're in Nashville Mine, easy peasy. We could have come here a lot oh, early if we wanted to. So tired. But it's nice to get some levels, get some health, just in case things go bad. There are some spiders down here in this mine that can poison you, which are dangerous. As well as a few other threats that are lurking around the shadows. <laughs> I think I'm coughing up blood. And we get this really easy quest of give Kylie his knife back. You know, mine's pretty simple. There's not too much treasure in the mine. The only big issue with the mine is there's a lot of weird corners that go around that can be awkward to maneuver around. No trouble at all. You can't really save that guy, he just gets killed by kobolds. And yeah, the main enemy that's left this mine are kobolds. Uh, they're really easy and weak and they don't drop anything useful for me. This will not be I already have magic weapons and everyone except for the game, so... Their short sword drops and ammo don't matter because no one uses arrows besides Torn if it feels like it. And I'll tell you right now, in this dungeon, Dorn doesn't feel like it. He's gonna be grinding up his Thaco modifier on Kobolds. Oh, uh, here's Kylie, he's just right over here, get some free experience. So dark down here. He gives you a bit of information oh, about what's dash. happening in the mine. And now they're attacking Vex, not too important though. Uh, there are, you can find some more clues of what happened to the Iron Crisis. Basically, the Kobolds are poisoning the iron with a weird chemical, which deteriorates its quality in some way. Nothing too crazy, nothing too ridiculous. Kobolds being Kobolds, man. We're just speed running to the end. Like I said, there is a wizard we can get here. He's pretty... I've never used him, to be honest, so I'm not too sure how good he actually is. I can't remember what he's, uh, specialized in. I'm pretty sure he's true neutral, so he's legal to use. If not, I'll look at him and then, you know, never see him again, basically. He has a cool weapon on him that he only he can use. But, uh, he's never gonna get to use it under my command, probably. He's just not made to... You just don't really want a wizard in melee who's just a wizard. But it is a cool weapon that he has. I wish maybe other wizards can use it. I don't think so. I think only he can wield the weapon. The yeah, we're just slaughtering kobolds. These guys are free experience, basically. They can do some damage here on 20s. But other than that, they're not really a threat in any real capacity. It's a shame our wizards are dead. This could be some good experience with them, but they're dead. Dead men can't level up. I can't remember if this is the right way to go, to go deeper, or if we're just going into a little, like, corner down here. I was worrying about traps earlier, but we're not going to encounter, uh, any, uh, tra like, traps um, that do real damage for a little bit here. They are puncturing like cleric with arrows. This will not be a quick death. Just 
sure what it is myself. Just some little minor healing to keep us going. Perfect. Next level of the mine. No trouble at all. So this floor is, as you can see, has traps. Uh, traps are generally worth disarming, and as you can see, I have to take off his ANK armor to disarm them. Go suck your blade. Free experience. A simple task. Yeah, I think this is where, yeah, 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 this is the second to last level of the mine. So this bridge over here is just full of traps. What need you dead? As well as kobolds. And I might disarm these as, uh, my a simple player, task. actually, over here. Just because I know there's an ambush, like, right on this side. Actually, this is a good time to use that bow that I have. I don't want to go across here with all these traps. You spoke. I'll do your toil. What must no trouble at all? This better be. Look at that, getting immediate value out of uh. Sleep. No trouble at all. Oops, I did not want to. I'm used to F5 being my uh yes, I'll do button. Toil. I think that's all the traps. I will listen for now. And now what? What must I consider it done? These guys give like no experience. When you go through Nashka level one, you basically get zero. It you don't level up at all unless you came here with a small party. I think it was designed so that if you only talk to Kaleem Jahira, you go through this place and succeed. Here are the aforementioned spiders I talked about. They can poison you, so they are a little dangerous. But they are definitely worth the most experience. We just want to pull these guys over here, because I think there's a trap right there. point fighting these guys on even terms. Just run away. Let them come to us. They might not want to come, yeah. Well, let's fight them on their terms, then. So we're about to walk into some of the nastiest traps in the game. This better be sleep like you would come by here and go, oh look at that. If you didn't have a rogue on you, which you wouldn't if you have Jahira or Khalid, you would die. And you think, oh that's the only trap, but there's actually like two more right there. These are like some really brutal traps. I think one of them's a lightning bolt trap. 